All right, everybody, we are back at it again. Dragon Quest of the Stars. In this video, we are going to do tips and tricks. We did do the beginning tutorial in the last video, so let's see what we can improve on. First, we have language settings, which for me, of course, is going to be English, but you do have options. Then we have restore data, which I am definitely not going to press that button. And then let's go to the touch screen. I played this game for a good six to eight hours. Yeah, I got really immersed into it, just like I thought I would. All right, we'll close this. And we'll just start from like the left side and work our way over, just so that I know that I didn't miss anything. Yeah, you got another bonus. Good, I'll need those to show stuff to you guys. You went on an adventure with six friends while you were taking a break. Oh, that's nice to know. Alright, we are going to start off at the house, which we are already on. Now, there are some new things here. Uh, setting your badges. I have one badge set already, and I don't have any more yet. Then we have attributes. Now, in attributes, we have attribute vocation skills, which we actually did not go over yet. With this one, I'll click the vocation button and you can set your character to be whatever they want. As you can see, my ranger is at 29 for this character and the character I'm using right now, I changed them to a warrior, which is only level three. Each character has this option to change. And if you click on each one, if you see the preferred, it'll show you which weapon is preferred when you're using that kind of character. Now, because I have a fan, I use dancer. I kind of actually just completely skipped over this one. Uh, martial artist. I didn't even notice that one had uh, a fan. Because I had a five-star fan, I always like to have a priest on hand. And this one, I switched him over to warrior because I have a, I believe it's a battle axe? Yeah. This is a steel slime battle axe, which will help fight steel slimes in certain battles. Then we have equipment, which shows the abilities of each one. And resistances. Alright, then we'll go to maps. There's a couple things on maps that you need to be aware of. Um, you see the stars at the middle of the screen? It says search for sparkles. That's right, everyone. We are going to search for sparkles. You see a little sparkle there on the right-hand side. It gives you random things. Oh, there's a sparkle. There's a sparkle. There's a sparkle. Ooh, what's that? Here's Paralyzed. Search for sparkles. None of them are lit up right now. In an hour and 30 minutes, there'll be a new sparkle to find. And while we're on this map screen, you can see all those maps that keep popping up and showing me that I have like 5 out of 7 and all that stuff. We'll get into that in just a minute here. But if we look to the left of the screen here, it says give a key a try. We'll go into there. We'll zoom in. Now these are different doors. This is a food door, where when you do battles there, you get extra food. This is upgrade store, so you get items for upgrading your weapons, if that's something you're looking for. Treasure door, so gold, items door, liquid metal door, and metal door. You be careful when you go into them, because this top one's difficulty level 1, easy peasy. And then the next one is difficult level 20, and then difficulty level 30. Each one also has like a different amount of keys it costs to use. So the top one will cost one key, the second one will cost two keys. The third one will cost four keys, but I don't have enough for that one. I don't really want to do a level 30 anyways, because I'm just raising up my warrior level all over again. So let's go into this one and do just the level one. But first I'm going to click on this scroll and it's going to tell me what I need to do to get all three to get the bonus. So, win boss battle within five turns, defeat boss using skillful finish, and clear the quest without dying. For a level one difficulty, I hope that shouldn't be too hard. And then you always get to bring a friend along with you. If you can find one with steel weapon, that would be metal slime axe. This one, I would use this one. If you go here, if there is a food in a quest, as you can see here on the rice, it says map task. It means there's a task for you to actually use one of these. So might as well add that in there and embark on your mission. 
So I have three keys. Once I use one, I'll have two keys left. It's so nice that it uses math for minus one for me. All right, here we go. So in battle, uh, we did go over just the basics that it does attack for you pretty much automatically. While our special attacks are charging, what do you guys think so far of the game? Is there any tips or tricks that you guys would like to share with everyone else? If so, leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear them for sure. Now for all these special attacks, as you can see these pink one up here, they're actually for your special attribute of that certain kind of character. Uh, my healer should have a healing one, mid-level heal. And then this is his because of his attack as a warrior. Mine is a dancer and a priest and then uh, another warrior. And then these ones are skills that I had put on them myself, but uh, I will get into that in a few minutes. And then there's these ones, which I also put on. I'll show you how to put on your own skills on your characters. Uh, when you're doing, don't forget to click on the jars when you're walking past. They give you extra stuff, which is awesome. Now it says that it's ready for certain things like this one here and this one here, but I don't need them. I'm waiting to get to the end boss so that I can use them all at once. There we go. Now you only need one special attack to uh, win on a special attack, but you need to do it as the final attack. So what I like to do is I like to attack the boss sword regularly. You can click on the characters you want to attack. Oh my god. This is so easy, I might as well just use all my special attacks at once. <laughs> and it'll keep going even after they've died. It'll just keep going, keep going, and give you that extra special attack bonus. 150 extra damage! 150% extra damage, my god. Well, we definitely ended on a special attack there. Look at my guys also happy that they did OP. I also find that these special dungeons, you get a lot more experience than doing the regular ones. There we go, all the extra stuff that we got. You can click on them to see what they are if you're not sure. And then they'll just all go in your bag at the end. Awesome. You can befriend your person that helped you in this battle, and then if they accept your request, then they accept it. That's a good way to get friends at the beginning. So now that I cleared that one, the next one I would do would be the level 20 one. I just like to get, you know, all the crowns. I'm a crown hog. And as you can see, these are special events as well. Monster Man, Master, Superstar. And some of them are at higher levels, so this one starts at level 40. I am definitely not ready for that one. That's pretty much- oh! You can click on current location to bring you back to where you were. You have these question marks to accept quests. And some of them are sub- like side quests. And I find side quests good because it just helps level up your character a little better. I'm going to show you what the Questra Crab book does. So I can play all these like once per day. So just play the ones that you know you'll win because you don't want to waste your one per day on one that you're unsure you might win. Then you have your daily quests. So Sunday Dungeon and this the temple which as you can see I wasn't quite ready for. Experience boosts. These are my experience boosts for today. An old site dedicated to war. And another experience boost. This one's complete, so I'm getting the experience boost right now. Now this is the map that I was talking to you about before. Once I collect, this one says, uh, visit regional establishment. Once I get that one, I would collect the whole map. We just go over here to this one. Uh, clear story, chapter two, a new power on solo. Once I do that, I will get the key. And you, you don't have to do them in order. You can actually... As you can see, this one's 10 out of 15. Locate 15 sparkles. All these different maps have different things that you're supposed to be doing. As you can see down here, I did number eight, number nine already. Yeah, 
it's good to try and see if there's any quests that you can do just while doing your regular stuff. This is the end of part one of Tips and Tricks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell. This is Twy and Game. Twy out.